Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been here for a while, but I wanted to share my latest planner setup with you guys. I got a lot of messages on my Instagram with those of you that have been asking to see a flip of this. So I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys today. This is set up for Valentine's Day. It contains a lot of pink and a lot of hearts. So I'm just going to warn you now, <laughs> if you don't like that kind of thing, this might not be the setup for you. But currently I'm really obsessed with pink right now and and hearts and all that stuff. So I think this is probably going to follow me past Valentine's Day, but I did want to share it with you. This is one of my favorite setups that I've had. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the type of planner I'm in. It's actually a jelly planner. It's made out of plastic, but it's a very soft, pliable plastic, and it's super like soft and spongy. I can't explain it. <laughs> It's hard to explain, but I absolutely adore it. I am in this planner for a few reasons. Uh, the first reason is because I was just getting a little tired of being in a leather planner and I wanted a change. And the second reason is because I live in the Midwest. And for those of you that live in the Midwest, you know exactly where I'm coming from. The winter weather here has been absolutely horrible. Like so horrible, it's crazy. Snow, 15 inches of snow, sleet. Uh, every day for the last three weeks, we've been been having some kind of advisory with freezing rain, uh, sleet, hail, you name it, we've had it. <laughs> so I leave the house a lot and I wanted to make sure that my planner was protected and I really feel like it does. I feel like I put a little raincoat on top of my planner and I absolutely adore it. I purchased this on Amazon and it is a six ring pocket planner and it's really pretty and as you can see I have it really really stuffed and I'm still able to button it now this is a separate dashboard and pen this pen loop does not come with a planner but um, I will show you that when we flip through it so I will provide a link for you guys in my description if I can for this planner it only cost me about eight dollars and if you're not sure about if you want to be in a planner or if you even want to be in a pocket planner this is a great inexpensive way to just test it out and see if you like the size and like I said it was only eight dollars so it's super super affordable and I really really love it so we're going to open it up and we'll take a closer look at the inside. Now, obviously you could already see my vision board that I had on the front. These are some pictures that I took off of the internet that I just really loved and spoke to me. I mean, who doesn't like pink Kit Kats? They're just phenomenal. If those really exist, please let me know in the comments below because I want to buy like 50 dozen of them. <laughs> And here the quote says, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. This is a quote from Helen Keller and I really, really love it. Now, if you're curious about the speckles that are in this, it's actually hollow glitter. This dashboard that they are in is a jelly dashboard. It's from Kat Spresco. I never see the name of her shop right. I am going to post it right here. So embarrassing. <laughs> so I love it because it has a lot of pockets and I don't know if you can see it with my lighting, but if you look very, very closely, you can see all the hollow glitter in there and I absolutely love it. It is just beautiful and when the light hits it just the perfect way, you can see all the hollow glitter. So that is my dashboard or my vision board. And then when you open it up, I have some items. And the other thing that I love about this dashboard is it has pockets that you can slide things in this way. And then it has this cross pocket down here at the bottom. It's a little hard to see, but my clip is in it. And the first thing I have is this really cute die cut and that's from Bubblemon. And I will try to link as many of the shops below that I mentioned in this video. Sometimes it's kind of hard because I have a lot of items in here, but this is from from Bubblemon and I love it. This is a digital that I purchased and it's a little Cupid, totally cute. The plastic clip is from Create With Pen with Tinta. She's one of my favorite characters and I just have her clipped in the pocket. And then down at the bottom is a freebie and I will put the shop name right here that they had in their Facebook group. And I really love it. It has my name on it and it's just super pretty. The background paper is vellum and it is from Hobby Lobby and the hearts, which is kind of hard to see with my lighting, but the hearts are really pretty foil and it's kind of like a copper foil and that is from an older uh, 
planner society kit. So really love that. Next on my first divider is some post-it notes. And just so that you know, guys, one of the things that kind of prevented me from doing this video sooner is if you can see my labels, none of them have actual labels on them. I purchased a new labeling system and I kind of messed up my order and I didn't get the right pieces, so I'm still waiting on that. But I've kind of had them memorized and I will explain to you as I go through my labeling and what I've labeled each one of my sections and some of the new labels that I've added. So sorry about that guys, that's the best I could do. I was hoping they came in by now, but so this is kind of like a work in progress. Just a little note side note there. And here I just have some post-it notes that I really love. These I purchased on Etsy and down here at the bottom is uh, a cute little post-it notes from Erin Condren. This was in the post-it note set that you can purchase at Staples and I really love it. One of the things I struggle with being in a pocket planner is post-it notes that actually fit. Your standard post-it notes do not fit on these pages so I'm always looking for post-it notes that are smaller and I really love these because I can jot down notes quickly and stick them throughout my planner. Okay this here I love this vellum piece that I put here it says a stationary lover that is from the most current uh, Van Sticky anniversary box if you um, I believe it's already sold out because it was over the last couple of days or it was two days ago or a day ago that she had it but I did purchase the vellum it was a la carte so you may want to still check her website I absolutely love this pay, uh, this like pattern and this writing, the stationary lover. So I just printed it out on some vellum and I stuck it on my divider. My pink marble dividers are from Cardboard Couture. I've had these forever and I don't think I'll ever change them. I just love how I can just do whatever I want on them and it always goes with whatever setup I'm doing. This cute little Barry is from Grin and Barrett. This was the Valentine's freebie that she posted today on her Instagram. I love it. I love Barry. He's so cute. I love that he's winking. So really love that. And we're going to come to my first section, which is my online purchases. The first section here, the online purchases, are an insert that I use from Planner Sophisticate. I love these inserts and the reason why is because they have a really pale pink frame around them and since I'm really into pink and I was doing this for Valentine's Day this setup I love the fact that it had the pink on it now in case you don't like the pink the cool thing is that you can buy the grayscale version so you don't have to buy pink or you can buy the pink Print it out in color when you want the pink, and when you don't want the pink, just set your file to grayscale or not to print in color, to print in black and white, and you won't get the pink. So I really like that about her uh, inserts that have the pink coloring on them. And I keep track of all my purchases here. Next is a list that I made, and this paper here is from So Much Crafting. It is her online purchases list, and basically I just keep track of my bags here. I just recently changed this because my last one was full and I have a little sticker here from Create With Pen. Love this again, Tinta, and she's putting on her makeup so I thought that was cute. I like to keep track of my Ipsy bag when it's paid for, when it ships, and when I receive it. Okay, the next thing here is a coupon tracker. This is also from Planner Sophisticate. This I cannot show you just because it holds the coupon codes that are personal to me that I can't share with you guys, but I have this coupon tracker in the back of my planner, so when I get to it, I'll point it out again. So for this one, we're just going to skip. This here is my next divider. I love this. I posted this just, I think, yesterday on my Instagram. My next section is my finance section. It's different than my online shopping and purchases. I have my financing where I budget in a separate area, so that would be this tab. I love this washi tape. Yes, it's upside down, and I know that because it really should run on the bottom of the page, but I'm okay with this. This is from Simply Gilded, and it's brand new. It's her white and pink Stardust washi tape. And guys, I my lighting just isn't even doing this justice. 
It is gorgeous. I love it. And you will see it throughout my whole planner because I put it everywhere. And I just have a pocket here. The pocket is from rose colored days and I was able to trim it down to put into this planner. I have a professional sealer that I use to seal bags. I purchased it for weddings to seal candy bags and I was able to use it to cut this pocket down and I'm really thrilled about that. Just to let you know the standard pocket usually doesn't fit in a pocket but it will fit in a personal. I have this cute little Cupid die cut. It's from uh, Joy of Planning and then I have some Create with Pen stickers. These are her newest release and I absolutely love these. I just bought an espresso machine so I've been like using these stickers constantly. Look how cute Tinta is on all the different mugs. I do have a coupon code for this shop uh, where you can save on your purchase so I will link that in my description and I think that's just really super cute. So on to finances. First I have some um, heart Post-it notes, again, post-it notes that I love that fit in a pocket planner. These are older ones from uh, the Planner Society that I completely hoard because I love them. <laughs> Next, I just have a uh, kind of like um, pocket dash that I created myself using a flower print from MJ and Hope. I love this. It's one of my favorites. I have a clip from the Grumpy Bear and just some stickers that I use really often. It's hard to see, but this is actually a vellum pocket on top of the dashboard that I created. The colorful side is here and I really like it. It leads into my finances or my check registry, which I need to have be really bright so I'm not depressed when I balance my checkbook <laughs> and see that I have no money. I totally don't care if you guys can see this. <laughs> I usually don't even write in the total, but I'm really loving these inserts and they're from so much crafting and the reason why is because those of you that have a pocket planner you will be able to notice that when you're writing and you're right-handed it's almost impossible to write this way in the planner it's even hard to write this way the rings get in your way and a lot of times I have to pull out my inserts in order to write on them with the sideways inserts the registry I can write freely this way and there's no obstruction and it's really, really nice. I don't have to worry about um, having to take the pages out and messing up my rings because I'm opening them too often to take papers out. Again, those are from So Much Crafting and I really didn't think I would like them and I really love them. I'm kind of thinking about getting other sideways type inserts because of that. Uh, the next thing is I have this clip. They're just little charms that I've collected over time. This heart one is from Peony's Papery. This one is from Create With Pen. And this is here is one of my favorites. It's a Fox and Pip bow. So I just put all three of them on this large paper clip and I keep them here in my planner. Basically what I have clipped here is my um, debt repayment and this is just how I track paying for my credit cards and I just stick that like this and wherever they fall, they fall. I'm not too picky about it. I really, I'm not gonna go crazy about that. Next here is one of my favorite sections. I just recently revamped this a little bit. This background paper is from the old anniversary box from uh, Van Sticky. I love this star quote. It's one of my favorites. And then here is some more of that washi tape from Simply Gilded. I just love this washi tape so much. <laughs> I have a Coffee Monsters uh, die cut, which I love. And then this is new, loving this. This is also from um, Kat Spresco. It is a Barry page clip or page flag and I really love it. It says inbox and of course this is the lead in to my inbox tab and I just love it. It's in hollow and it's gorgeous and then I have a rose colored days and this one is um, in gold foil. It's a little harder to see. The hollow is kind of taking the center stage here and it is a washi card but I'm not big into putting washi in my planner so I just like it for decorative purposes. This pattern paper here is from the Unicorn Planner and I just have it going into my divider that I made myself with clear vellum into my inbox section. Again more of the Simply Gilded 
washy down at the bottom, the stardust, totally love it. Okay, so this leads into my inbox, which is pretty plain right now, but I'm just gonna show it to you real quick. This paper here, which is this vellum, is the newest from the Van Sticky Current Anniversary box. This was an a la carte item. It's probably still available on her shop. I love the delicate little bows. Fox and Pip sticker, and this leads into my year at a glance. These are also from Planner Sophisticate, and I love them because they have the pink. Totally cute. Okay, and then that goes into this section here, which is my release tracker. This is also from Planner Sophisticate, and I love this. I have some hollow, simply gilded washi here as well. Kind of hard to pick up in this lighting. It's a little too bright for that hollow to really kick in. And this is a release tracker. I think it's made for shops to keep track of the releases they have in their stores, but I do it as any shop that's having a sale. I am the worst with that. I will go on Instagram and I will see a post where a shop will say, okay guys, on Friday we're gonna have 40% off two days before Friday. By the time Friday comes along, I've already forgotten and I missed the sale. So what I've been doing is I've been writing down the shops and what time and dates their sales are so I no longer miss them. These are just future appointments that are coming up like doctor's appointments, car maintenance appointments, uh, vet appointments. Right now I have nothing on the board and I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> okay, my next divider here is going into my dailies. I just have this awesome glitter uh, decal from Grumpy Bear and more of that washi tape, like I told you guys, it's everywhere. And this goes into my daily section. I have a rose colored days, uh, hollow polka dot um, pocket here, or actually I have the rose color, uh, the rose gold colored one here. <laughs> I couldn't get that out. And then here's just some stickers that I use. This is my February inserts. Here is an older um, digital download from Van Sticky. I love this little ghost holding the heart. This little die cut is from Joy of Planning. And then my February inserts are from Annie Plans. My weekly inserts are always Annie Plans, no matter what. I've tried a million different ones and I always run back to these. These are my favorite. Really simple on my February calendar. I um, don't stress myself about decorating my February calendar too much. I try to mark important dates of things that are coming up and just really love that. This is last week. It was my husband's birthday and I used a kit from Create With Pen and some foil overlays. The overlays, I forget who they're from. I'll post it right here because I forget the shop name right now. And these are just my inserts from last week. Really loved how this week came out. And again, it was my husband's birthday, so last week I was super busy. And now this is this week, which is Valentine's Day. As you can see, I have nothing filled in yet. Okay, here I have one of my all-time favorite kits. It is from... Um, Planner Press. It was her Valentine's Day kit. She had it up for just a short period of time and I was lucky enough to grab it. Very hard again to see with my lighting, but it's all gold foil and I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to flip through real quickly for my week and all the things that I have added in here. This is the weekend coming up. Really, really pretty. I absolutely love it and again that simply gilded washi loving that i have this uh, glitter palm here it's very old and i do not remember where i got it from i tried to check on that but i couldn't figure it out and down here i have this gorgeous charm which i really really like and this charm here is from sugar and ivy on etsy love it perfect for valentine's day <laughs> Okay, and then this leads into my next section, which is my list section. This is a super old die cut from Van Sticky, but I love it. She's covered with little post-it notes. It's like exactly me. <laughs> okay, here's another favorite of mine, this section here. I just love this. I used the Muchi Kichi Valentine's Day kit for this, and it's just too cute. I love this selfie that I was taking that my husband photobombed with a snowball that he did end up throwing at me. 
<laughs> and I love this picture because I seriously did not expect him to come up behind me. And this was like my genuine reaction. I don't even remember like hitting the button of the camera. So I absolutely love this picture. And I figured it was perfect since we're just getting so much snow here in the Midwest. It just won't stop. So we definitely went with a snow theme. I have this cute little die cut, another Tinta from Create With Pen. And look at how cute this love note die cut is from Mochikichi. I totally love it and some hearts. What I like about this is this does not have to just be Valentine's Day oriented. It just says you and me and love with the pink. I think that's awesome and it's something that I'm going to keep in my planner. I'm not going to remove it after Valentine's Day. I just like it too much. It says P.S. I love you and I just really think it's cute. Okay, this goes into my list section and these are all my current lists. These are just me keeping track of Instagram. I'm not big into my numbers, guys. I really never was. Um, I actually just got a new Instagram and I'm going to link that in the description and I'll put my new Instagram name here. If you are following me on my old Instagram, I no longer use that account and I have a new one. And what this is, is I don't care about the numbers. Like I don't want to contradict myself and say, I don't care about the numbers, but here I am tracking it. This is just to say thank you when I hit certain milestones, just because I'm not concerned about the numbers doesn't mean I don't want to be thankful for you guys following me. I'm still very grateful for all the people that follow me on Instagram. And I think it's only correct and polite to thank you guys when I hit certain milestones. So that's that. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this insert. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm going to post the shop right here. This insert is like my new obsession. You can do so much with this insert. You can track like weight loss. You can track a TV series you're watching. You can track pretty much anything that you can dream of. Workouts can be tracked here. Meals can be tracked here. Like if you're doing um, certain meals that you're trying to make sure that, like for me, I never eat breakfast. So I can do a breakfast tracker where I can keep track of the date. And if I ate breakfast on those days, because I have to force myself to eat breakfast. I don't know if that's just me. It's just a weird thing, but there's so many things that you can track. And again, I'm going to put the shop right here because I don't remember the name of it but I'm obsessed with this new little insert. Okay, the next one is just podcast that I'm listening to. Current one that I'm listening to besides my true crime ones is Planner Girl Chatter. I decided to go back to the very beginning and I really like this podcast. And basically as I listen to an episode, I just write it in so this way I can remember where I left off. And I love this little Coffee Monster sticker with the headphones on it. This here is just um, purchases uh, from shops that I would like to make in the future. These are books that I've read. Now here I wanna change this. This is books that I've read. I kinda of wanna start adding in books that I want to read. So this way it obligates me to read them. This is the books to read list from So Much Crafting inserts. And then I have this from Annie Plans and I love this insert. It's one of my favorites. I use it to track face masks. I am a face mask junkie. I literally have a box of about 200 and I'm not joking. I've actually sat and counted them. It is insanity. So when I use them and I find one that I really, really like, it's hard for me to remember which one I liked that I used. So what I like is you can put the brand, you can put the name of it, what it treats. Like for instance, if it's hydrating or for uh, oily skin or for flaky skin or for whatever, whatever it treats. My rating, the type it is, like for instance, I have pink peel, pink clay, mud, mud and if I'm going to repurchase it. And as you can see, I already have one here that was supposed to be for dryness and hydrating. It was the Yes 2 Coconut, and for me, my skin did not like it at all. It actually made me more dry, so I won't be repurchasing it, but you can see here that I have other ones that I wanna repurchase, and then this one here was amazing. My very berry pink peel, that's my favorite, and I will purchase that over and over again. So really love this insert. I don't remember what the name of it is for me, any plans, but I feel like it was made specifically for me tracking my face masks. 
<laughs> okay, my next section here is my fitness section, just a tinted die cut and a sticker from Joy of Planning. I have a little sticker pocket here with some of my favorite workout stickers, another rose colored days card and vellum says goal getter and I will post where I got that here. Love that. I am tracking workouts, which as you can see are non-existent right now. I have to get back into that guys. It's going to start next week. I'm going to put myself on that. Next inserts. Now these next inserts here are all new. This is the new uh, tab insert divider system from planner press this section that i left off on <laughs> is on the menu what i do here is i track um, meal ideas that i want to do what i ate for the week my grocery list and this here is just going to be my two favorite recipes i'm going to write them out here because i use them a lot and those are annie plans printable uh, inserts as well. My next divider just has cute Tinta paper and Gia the Ghost from Create with Pen. Really loved this little character. I hope she brings it back again because Jen, please bring back the little Gia Ghost. I love her <laughs> and love that. She's really cute. She's holding her little planner. My next section goes into my monthly to do's and I just have a, another rose colored days pocket with another Tinta clip on it. And this divider or this insert here is from so much crafting. And this is just stuff that I track that I do monthly. Okay. And I decided because of this sheet is the whole entire year and I'm going to have to look at it for the whole entire year that I would decorate it. And I use this hollow washi from Simply Gilded and Tinta Create with Pen washi. And I just love the way this came out. It's my favorite. And my dashboard fell out. We'll get to that momentarily hopefully i'm trying to speed it up here okay and then we have another divider that goes into my cleaning sections i'm going to zone off my house and that's that heart paper i showed you from um, unicorn planner next section is my to-do list so my current to-do list and this list here is going to be our outdoor projects i'm working on that with my husband this weekend here is that um anniversary paper from Van Sticky, but this one I actually uh, foiled with a pink foil. Love it. And then next divider here is my YouTube stuff, which I currently have some new sheets that I have in this section, but I haven't put them in yet. And then my last one is my PR section, which is PR teams that I'm on. And I keep track of them with the Annie Plans uh, social media insert and more of that stationary Van Sticky anniversary paper. And then back here is that planner uh, sophisticate codes insert that I had in the front that I couldn't show you. This one here are just codes that I share with you guys for different shops for the teams that I do PR work for. So these codes you can see. I love this code insert. It's one of my favorite. These codes can be found on my Instagram page. And then last but least, you saw this come out a couple of times. I love this. This is just another Cat Spresco um, Hollow Star dashboard love this one look at that it is so gorgeous i just have an older clip on it i have my penelope and friends little die cut there for valentine's day i have some tinta and some create with pen um different uh, die cuts. I have my first Villa Beautiful pen, which I absolutely love. Let me see if I can get it to focus in on the pen. This pen is gorgeous and I love this one. It has the rose gold coloring. Look at those gems. They are so pretty and sparkly. Again, this was my first one and I think I've already bought like five more since. So... <laughs> that's like my new obsession and I just have this binder clip holding it onto the dashboard and I keep this loose because I like to move it around my planner wherever I'm working and I like the way it makes the pen sit out a little further than the rest of all the tabs and everything that are in here then I have my back pocket 
that I just created to decorate the back cover. I hated it just being plain. And I have my D initial from Hobby Lobby. I have another rose colored days. Um, this is the hollow star pocket, a fox and pip bow, and a create with pen die with all the snow because that's all that keeps happening here. I just have a paper clip in the back and an ollie clip in a hollow color on the top. This is this set that I purchased from um, Container Store. And basically I just keep this slid in like that. I pull it out so the pen sits correctly. And then I can sit here and I can close my planner. Didn't mean to rush at the end guys, but I was trying to go as fast as I could towards the end because this is getting so long because I keep chat, 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 chat. But sorry it was so long guys. I hope you like this. If you have any questions, leave it below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.